five daughters and I guess um, you know that's a bit of can be a bit of a blow to um, a farmer. Becoming farmers or taking over the family farm was never even thought of uh, simply because it was something that boys did. Hey, what are they worth to go there? Can I get those? Um, after my father died, we managed the farm for 15 years. And in terms of knowing how to run something, you've got to really stick together. And then after six years solid on the farm and living through a few droughts, I thought, this is it. I've got to get, you know, I want to have, I want to do more. However, everyone said, oh, it's too late. What are you doing now? You know, and I got no encouragement whatsoever. <laughs> to actually um, make do and be very capable on the farm in a man's job. I became very confident with um, using all sorts of tools. I mean, you have to be able to fix your own stuff. You need to get your wire and pliers out and fix it. There's a real strength to the work. She uses metals and bitumen and, um, and she scrapes and she scratches and she um, rivets and then hammers and she really works the surface of her, of her pieces. Um, but um, on, the, on, the, on the flip side of that, they are still so incredibly soft and sensitive. I think a lot of traditional landscape painting really sort of fails to capture what the land is for me. Um, but yeah, my work doesn't really f fall in that genre of landscape painting either. So, um, but I'm always looking for sort of a new dialogue. Um, and history is another thing I'm really interested in. And sometimes it's a bit daggy because I'm still making work about um, the land and my understanding of it. And I, I just, it's a subject that has sort of endless gravity for me. I'm out here, I can actually feel like I'm still in the country. <laughs>